The world's major energy players gather in Doha to talk about the future of oil. Are we stuck with high energy prices? And will there be enough to meet global demand years from now? It's lower. I think people are really ready under a new administration, under the pressure of global warming, of energy independence, to make really deep investments in, uh, in really different energy systems. Did you know that most schools spend more than $250 on energy for every student? Did you know that one third of energy used in schools is wasted? Education encourages one simple thing, critical thinking, thinking critically about the world around you and saying, I want to do something, I want to take action. Talk about wind. What do you think about wind? Uh, wind's pretty awesome because, like in marching band, you don't like breeze breaks, air out your armpits. Wind is helpful. What's so important about wind energy? Light to the school. Um, so, me and Randy Jingleski, for the past few months, have been working on a project that involves the implementation of wind energy at ESM. And what we found is that the administrators have been overwhelmingly supportive and we're already receiving help from Siemens with our other um, environmental efforts at ESM and they've been really supportive of it and hopefully it'll become something real eventually. I know a lot about wind energy. Uh, Map-wise, uh, average wind speed around here is supposed to be about 9.8 miles per hour. That's consistent with the data that I've collected as part of my environmental project. So. That seems to be fairly accurate. Uh, that's not supportive of uh, industrial model horizontal axis turbines, but it's consistent with vertical axis turbines. So if we were to implement wind energy here, we'd probably do something vertical axis. Also, wind energy is highly dependent upon height. Uh, as you increase altitude, wind speed increases as well. 